The COVID virus is changing so much of our daily lives, but we can all still work together to keep local businesses afloat, find other ways to adapt, reminding us that while this pandemic has changed quite a bit, it has not changed people's desire for community. And tonight we take a look at Panino's, the business offering unique new options for families. For the restaurants in Colorado, things have changed. I think Monday night when we all got the call that we were no longer going to be a dining restaurant, we all kind of scrambled to figure out what we were going to do and what that looked like. But while transitioning has been difficult, many restaurants are reporting overwhelming community support. Community has just been very helpful. At Panino's, regulars and just concerned residents asking what do you need? We didn't know what we needed, so we started asking, what do you need? And the biggest thing that we've been hearing was our families, our kids are not in school and we're running out of these great ideas. What are we gonna do at home? The answer for this family business, a take home pizza, dough, fresh ingredients, and video instructions kids can follow all by themselves. So that it's more of like a lesson plan almost since everybody's out of school right now. The biggest thing that we wanted to do was to figure out how to add value to these kids that are home that aren't in school to give them a little bit of a lesson in, in cooking or, or creating something on their own. Um, that was in turn they could they could eat lunch and have some fun while doing it. For the Frasca family running Paninos, it's about restoring normalcy, helping out families and checking in. Checking in with everybody around you, checking in with your community, and just kind of getting that sense of, we don't know what's in store for us. The scariest thing is not knowing, and we're just trying to come together as a family and do whatever we can each day. Pizza's up! Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5. And every day we're going to continue to tell the stories of our local small businesses and how we can help them all stay operating and keep our community together as best as possible. Let us know if you have a local small business you'd like to include. Send an email to news at koaa.com.